Hi everyone, welcome back to another Engineering Science Recap video. My name is Jason and today I will be talking about ENV222, Pathways to Sustainability. Today is September 9th, 2022. I just had my first day of uh, fall classes for third year and I am majoring in the Biomedical Systems Engineering option. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is ENV222? Well, unlike my previous videos that I've recorded, ENV222 is actually not a core course in the engineering science curriculum. Instead, it is an arts and science elective that I took during uh, the winter term of second year uh, to fulfill my humanities and social sciences credit uh, for that term. And when I took this class, uh, the professor was um, Michael Classens. So what is ENV222? Well, the way I would describe it is it's an introductory interdisciplinary foundation to sustainability. The focus of the course is really on breadth over depth. Uh, every week we were given readings in the form of articles, papers, recordings, etc. We would have two hours uh, of synchronous lecture and we would have an hour of tutorial as well. So some of the main course topics we went over include um, connecting the humanities and uh, sustainability. We talked about uh, the Anthropocene, learning practices and sustainability, uh, indigenous resurgence, decolonization, and sustainability. Then we talk about environmental literacy, ecological literacy, and eco literacy, climate science, the energy transition, waste and circular economy, uh, the economy and sustainability, and sustainability and social change. So uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, the focus of the course is really on uh, breadth over depth, which is why uh, there's so many, uh, there's such a variety of, of topics. And you'll also see, uh, as I talk about the assessments later, that um, the course really gives you room to explore a lot of different facets of sustainability. So it's not just targeted towards, you know, sustainability for engineers. It's not just sustainability for um humanities or social science students it's really interdisciplinary and you get to explore a lot of different perspectives which is nice so as for the assessments um, some of the assessments we had included uh, sustainability in the city uh, which is basically where we sort of look at our surroundings and we decide to write about um, sort of things in our uh, in, that are cl in close proximity to us and we're supposed to uh, write a critical piece on uh, the sustainability of some object uh, in our environment, whether it is sustainable or not, or whether it's sustainable in some ways and not in other ways, stuff like that. Then we had an, an interrogative campus tour. Basically, we had to choose some location on campus and again, uh, look into its history and, uh, you know, uh, basically criticize, uh, critique it for its uh, sustainability. Then there was a sustainability in my feeds assignment. So starting to look at the intersection between social media and sustainability, how we perceive sustainability in, in the media and on the internet. Then we also had learning journals, uh, which was more of a self-reflective, looking at how we're learning throughout the course and what we're learning. Um, less focus on what we're learning and more on uh, what's effective, what's not effective. And then finally, we had a take home final exam, basically given just a list of possible things to write about. And we were able to choose from this rather flexible list that covers most of the concepts we've learned. And then there's tutorial participation. So just a couple of comments on the assignments. I Something I liked about the assignments in this class were that I felt they were very uh, real in the sense that they were grounded in our surroundings and what we observe the world to be. Um, so it was very much open-ended and open to interpretation, but still being uh, assessed for, um, you know, critical insight. I also felt that overall it really these assignments and um, the course in general encourage a lot of introspection as well as extrospection. So not only reflecting on you know your own experiences and 
your own beliefs or values, but also, um, you know, looking at other perspectives, uh, engaging with others, and being able to have these kinds of discussions or, uh, around sustainability, and being able to observe and analyze um, things around you. I also felt that the concepts that we learned in lecture um, were very relevant and they're very concrete in general. Um, but we also had the freedom to explore ideas and concepts that weren't taught in the class. Uh, so we could do our own research and incorporate it into our writing, for example. Uh, so one, one critique I will make is that, uh, in general, I thought tutorials could have been made more engaging and interactive. Uh, sometimes there were nice discussion activities, but in general, uh, they were mostly to ask questions about um, upcoming assessments and, and such. So they're more like Q&A sessions. So that's the end of the video, a uh, very short video. Um, didn't want to cover any like questions because it's not really it's less of a technical course. The focus was more on writing, um, so not like an engineering course. But uh, before I end off this video, I'd like to acknowledge um, that the course content and instruction was delivered by Professor Michael Klassens. My tutorial TA was uh, Christina Nitsis. And uh, I'd also like to thank the individuals who I uh, took this uh, presentation template from. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this video and hope to see you in the next one.